Hello, thank you for joining me. In this video, I'd like to show you a little bit about decals. In fact, I'm going to show you enough about decals so you can actually insert them into your projects. But uh, the reason behind decals is it allows you to take images that you can find and images that you can take and incorporate them, in, uh, incorporate them into your project, scaled up or down, however you see fit. And typically, you would use images and decals in a project like this, your commercial project, to help dress up that project. You can put in logos, you can put in uh, images of what your product's going to look like, whether it's um, you know some sort of dinner menu item or coffee or donuts, like in this uh, situation. Or uh, you can put in uh, like menu, menu boards. So we're going to do a little bit of each in this, uh, in this video. And I'm going to show you how to do it. So the first thing you need to do is you need to make sure that you download some images before you get started. And the way the decals work is you start with images. From the images, you create a decal. With the decal, you insert them into your project. You insert them in on some sort of flat surface, typically. So, like in this image here, which is a, a, a section of the front of our uh, Mr. Donut Donut Shop, we have a, a menu board up here. We have a door. We have a countertop, uh, the front of our countertop. We have a display case that we can put uh, our decals on. And I will show you how to do that. So the first thing you need to do is download your images. Second thing you need to do is create your decals. A couple different places you can find them. If you go to the Manage tab, uh, you go to de Decal Type, uh, Decal Types. You can go there, or you can go to the Insert button, and here you have a, a one-stop shopping. You can get both decals, create your decal types here, and then you can place your decal second. So let's create, uh, do a decal type. I already have a couple of them made. I've done it one, two, and four already created. And you can see what the image looks like over here. I have Homer Simpson. It wouldn't be a donut shop without Homer, uh, the icon of donut consumption. And, uh, and then we have one menu. So let's go ahead and create one. Um, if you go down here to the lower left-hand corner, there's a Create New Decal button. Just click on that. And we're going to call this uh, Menu 2. Go to OK. And then you go up here on the right-hand side and go to uh, this button over here with the three dots in it, which means a directory button. I'm going to go inside of here and go to the folder that you see fit in order to extract your images on. And what I'm going to do is get my Donut 2 menu and go from there. So you typically start from the top or to the bottom. You have your image up here. You can change its brightness, reflectivity, its transparency. If you don't have something come in the back, you can make your image a little bit more transparent or more transparent. Uh, less or more, however you see fit. Finish, high gloss finish if you like. Luminance uh, gives it some sort of background light. So if it's a dark room, it kind of shines out like a sign. It would be really good for an exterior sign if you want to do something like that. A bump pattern actually puts in some sort of 3D rendering to this if you want to take a picture of the image from the side. And uh, the bump amount, which uh, is kind of related with that, it makes it stand out by 30% between the high and the lows and so on and so forth. And cutouts. If you rest your cursor on any one of these things, it kind of gives you an idea of uh, what that menu uh, option uh, really does for you. One thing I would uh, suggest doing is if you uh, want to adjust any of these settings, that uh, you do so after you do a photo real rendering of it to see if these are what some of the settings you want to change. Otherwise, I would stick with the default settings and see if that looks good. Go through the rendering and then make the changes appropriately after that. So, let's create one more. We'll call this one Homer 2. We'll type about as fast as Homer. Go to OK. And just to reiterate, go to the go to the directory button. And we're going to find Homer 2. Looks like we have a third Homer here too. So let's do that. Let's create another one. That way we have enough uh, images to populate our front of our countertop. Let's see what Homer 3 looks like. Yeah, consuming a donut. Yep, that looks good to me. Okay, go to OK. Second stop. Go back to our decal. We're going to place a decal. Uh, when you place a decal, you're looking for a flat surface. As I mentioned, I created these sign boards here. These sign boards have a border to them. And uh, the nice thing about the borders to it, and there, there's two features to the sign board. First of all, it does have a border to it, like a frame around it. It keeps the decal from going uh, on the exterior of the frame. And with the background of the, of the, of the sign board, uh, it's uh, elevated. It's in front of uh, the wall that's behind that. So when you put your decal on it, and if the decal were to exceed the border of that, it disappears. And that's pretty typical of a decal. And just to demonstrate that, if I were to put my decal here, stretch it out over the sign. It looks like it's going over the sign. You can actually see the outline of it. 
but really it's embedded on the signboard there. So if we uh, go to a realistic view, it'll show it, it'll show it a little bit better. So there's Homer and his donut. You'll notice that Homer and his donut is uh, within the confines of the signboard. But we can move that around with our arrow keys if you like. Shrink it, move it. One thing to note that if you do move it and try to move it onto a different uh, level, it's going to balk and not like you. And the only choice it gives you is to delete the instance. So we're going to do that just for demonstration. So I think that's probably enough for this video for now. I will pick it up in the next video.